Hello and welcome to Applied Statistics using SPSS and in this video I will show you how to perform an unpaired t-test or an independent samples t-test in SPSS. This test is used to see if there's a significant difference between the means of two independent samples. And the data set in front of me contains information about birth weight and we will test to see if there's a significant difference between the birth weight of babies born to smokers and non-smokers. The data set is presented in the following way. So we've got birth weight in this column, and then we've got a group in variable smoker in this column, where zero represents a non-smoker and one represents a smoker. Sometimes data sets are not presented in this way, so sometimes the independent samples will be presented in two different columns, in which case we'd have to combine these columns into one column and introduce a grouping variable in order to perform an independent samples t-test in SPSS. The main assumption of this test is that the, the two samples are normally distributed. However, I will assume that this is true for the purpose of this video. But if you'd like to see details of how to do this, then please see my video on testing normality. Okay, so in SPSS we select Analyze, and then Compare Means, and then Independent Samples T-Test. So we move birth weight across to the test variables box, and smoker, which is our grouping variable, to the grouping variable box. And now we need to define the groups. So group 1, this will be 0, which represents a non-smoker, and group 2 will be 1, which represents a smoker. So select Continue and OK. So here is our output, and we're interested in the independent samples test table. And the first thing you will note is that there are two rows in this table. So the first row is where equal variances are assumed, and the second equal variance is not assumed. And we choose the row according to the result of Levine's test for equality of variances. So Levine's test for equality of variances tests the null hypothesis that the variances of the two groups are equal versus the alternative hypothesis that they're not equal. And in this case, the p-value is 0.587, which is larger than 0 0.05, the usual 5% significance level. So therefore, we do not do not reject the null hypothesis that the variances of the two groups are equal, and therefore we take the first row of this table. If this was not the case, then we would take the second row of this table, where SPSS performs Welsh's correction, but I don't want to go into detail about this in this video. So we take the first row of this table, and we move across to the t-test for equality of means part of this table. So here is the t-value, and here are the degrees of freedom, and this is the corresponding p-value, which is 0 0.047, which is just smaller than 0 0.05, the 5% significance level. So therefore we reject the null hypothesis that the means of the two groups are equal. And in terms of the data, this means that there's a significant difference between the birth weight of babies born to smokers and non-smokers. And if we look at this table, we see that the, the mean birth weight of babies born to non-smokers is then significantly heavier or larger than the mean birth weight of babies born to smokers. Okay, well I hope you found this video useful. If you have any questions, please let me know.